Hey everybody, hi boys and girls. Um, today, uh, Kayla and I wanted to have hey. another chapel search, uh, chapel session. Sorry, yes. I'm tripping all over my words. Uh, because I know that uh, everybody's missed it. We've missed being able to do it. So much. Um, and so I just wanted to, I think we wanted to have a chance to be able to do that for you guys. So um, today we're also, we're going to hear from probably the best book ever. Not probably, definitely. Definitely the best book ever. And it's called The Bible, and we're going to sing a song that will tell you how to spell Bible. Yes. Um, it'll tell you some great stuff about the Bible. So it's called the B-I-B-L-E, and here's how that goes. Ready? Uh, you know the motion system. Yes, I'm going to show you how to sign it, too. So we're going to sing the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book. For me, I stand alone on the Word of God, the B I B L E. Everybody got it? It's not so hard. You guys ready? The B I B L E. Yes, that's the book. Shout Bible! That's what we always do. Um, so I hope you at home are doing that yes, because I otherwise. Yes, I hope you really loud at home. Yes, and I miss it. I just miss it. I miss the everybody shouting Bible right here. Yes. Home. We're gonna sing another song. Um, this is a song called uh, "Jesus Loves the Little Children," um, and it's a song that's been on my mind. And so we're gonna go ahead and sing it. And it's very simple. And I'm gonna we'll sing it twice for those who maybe don't know. But it goes like this. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in the sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Let's do that one more time. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in the sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. That's a great song. I forgot my book. You forgot your book. Miss Kayla. Oh, that has is a, normal. Miss Kayla has a story for us. Out of the B I B L E, the Bible. Yes, I'm using our uh, Spark Story Bible again. We've been using this one a lot. It's a great one. It is great. It's got some pretty good pictures in it. I yeah. hope you can see them. Um, and I'm going to read you the story today about when Jesus blesses the children. So, Jesus traveled all over the land telling people about the good news of God's love. One day, Jesus was talking to a large crowd. It seemed that there was always a crowd. The children had to stand on their tiptoes or sit on their parents' shoulders to see Jesus. People were everywhere on the grassy hill, laughing and smiling and waiting for Jesus to tell them more about God. God loves you and you and you, Jesus said. He wants you to love other people, too. One mom said, I want my children to hear what Jesus is saying. Other parents wanted their children to hear Jesus, too. They moved closer and put their children down on the grass. One little boy tugged on the corner of Jesus' road, and he turned around. Ah, Jesus said, smiling, and he bent down to hold the hands of the child who was standing nearby. But the disciples scolded the parents. What do you think you're doing? Jesus is too important and too busy to talk to these children. Move your children back. When Jesus heard the disciples say these words, he stood up and he turned back to the groans. What do you mean, Jesus said to the disciples? These children are as important to me as you are. I want to bend down and look in their eyes and tell them about God's love too. Never stop anyone from coming to me, especially children. Let the children come sit on my knee. Children like these are part of God's big family too. Then Jesus knelt down to look at each child in the eye. Come sit with me, he said, and I will tell you about the love of God my Father. 
Jesus sat on the grass with all the children and told all the girls and boys about God and his family. Then Jesus put his hand on every girl and boy's head and blessed them, saying, Remember, God and I love you just the way you are. Then Jesus stood up and said to all the grown-ups, Remember my words. Whoever does not love God like a child won't be part of God's family. And I love that story, and I love how Jesus was very clear um, that he loves children, and he wants you to come to him, and he wants you to talk to him, and he wants you to learn about him. And he loves you just exactly the way you are. And we're all different. We're all so different. And he loves that about us because he made us that way. He made us unique. He made us different. And he told us to love each other and love everything that's different about each other, too. So I want you all to remember that this week, that no matter what's happening in the world, that Jesus loves you and he loves everything about you. Amen. Should we pray? Should we pray? <laughs> we should pray. Um, and I hope you repeat after me at home. So um, I'll repeat after you here to make it a little bit more yeah. like, like normal. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So if you can bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for today. Thank you for today. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for making me. Thank you for making me. Different. Different. And unique. And unique. And loving everything. And loving everything. About me. Amen. Amen. That's a good one. So now we're gonna we're gonna sing our favorite song. Yes. In chapel, and so I hope you guys are uh, showing me your baby sharks at home right now. You can do it however you want. I've seen some very tiny baby sharks before, but that's okay because we're all different. And so. So we're baby sharks. So and so are baby sharks. So here we go. Ready? Baby shark. Baby shark. to see you. Can't wait to see you. So y'all take it easy. Bye everybody.